What's going on guys, Dad Dash here. I uh, wanted to uh, jump in here for an intro and let you know that we are out for another ride along today. I've actually already got an order, as you should have seen. It's an interesting one. I've never done this before. It's a Rite Aid prescription drop. I did actually get a, door, a uh, Uber Eats order. I didn't get a chance to look at it, and then it went away. It was $14 for five miles at a Burger King right, right near here where I'm at. So that's kind of disappointing that, I, that that one got away from us. But this is a, this is part of the Dash Along the Way program because I turned on uh, the Dash Along the Way and got this order. So this is literally taking me right along the path I would I would need to be going. So we'll see how this goes. I've never done one of these before. Um, we're going to uh, jump in here, grab this prescription, and go see how this whole process works out. I've got 19 minutes to complete the order in order to uh, maintain the pace I want, which is $25 gross revenue per hour. So we'll see how this goes, see if we can get this done, and uh, take it from there. All right, guys, talk to you soon. All right, guys, Dad Dash back here. So I wanted to jump in and just kind of let you know how this went uh, as far as pickup goes. Like I said, it's the first time I've ever done this before. So I went in. I uh, went to the park, went to the prescription counter, gave the customer's name. They had it already ready and picked it up. The interesting thing is, as you guys probably saw on the order acceptance screen, it said I had till two thirty to deliver it. So I got a little worried. I'm like, you know, is it is this thing going to be ready or what, you know what am I waiting on here? But it appears it was already ready. Um, so I am now in route. It says I'm about to, it, when I plugged it into GPS. It said I was ten minutes away. Um, which says I should deliver this about uh, 12.41. And I had until 12.43 to get this delivered to stay within the 19 minutes that I had to deliver this order based on the amount that they offered me and keeping that at my $25. Uh, so this will fall between that $25 and $30 an hour gross revenue range that I want to be at. So that's very good. So I'll come back on here let you guys know how the drop-off goes. I don't expect any hidden tip to be involved here because it's a pharmacy drop-off. So I'm anticipating this will probably be maybe even no tip at all. It'll be all, um, you know, it'll be all base pay. So we'll see how it goes, see what happens. And I'll be talking to you soon, guys, uh, and let you know how this goes. It. There was no tip. Um, I figured that was going to be the case because this was a, a merchant uh, ordered uh, delivery, but it went smooth. It wasn't bad. You did have to have the customer sign, so I had to hand them my phone. They had to type in their name and then sign, um, and then I was on my way. It wasn't bad. Only bad part about it was was uh, it was a little bit awkward as far as getting into their driveway because it was in a trailer park, and getting out was a little dicey, but we made it. So we are now in our market. Um, this literally took us right to the market. So we're in the market. I'm looking for orders, hoping something pops up here for, for DoorDash or maybe Uber Eats. Like I said, we really had a fantastic Uber Eats order that we uh, were unable to take advantage of because I wasn't able to get into the app quick enough. Uh, it just kept, sometimes Uber Eats will do that. I kept hitting the alert, and it, and it wasn't going in, and then I got in, and then as soon as I got in, it just flashed off. So I didn't even get a chance to take a look at the order besides seeing it was like fourteen fifty six, dollars um, because it is, a, it is a rather immature market up there for Uber Eats, so they're still paying premium for base pay. Now, you go right over to state line, and over here, we're talking $2 orders, so it's a totally different world over here in uh, Hagerstown, but... We're going to see what we got. We're going to work Hagerstown until about 2 o'clock, and then we're going to keep heading uh, south. Um, and then I've got to be done tonight by 6.30, so we're not going to be going long, um, all night long or anything like that. I've got to be done actually probably earlier than 6.30. I've got to be done about 6. So we're just going to keep making our way south um, into my home market. Hopefully Grubhub will pick us up once we get down close to there. Uh, may head to Charlestown, may not. I haven't decided yet. We'll see what happens. We'll see if business slows down a good bit, and we're required to try to head and move around. Anyways, all right, guys, I'm going to jump off here, keep looking for orders, and I'll be talking to you soon. All right, guys, Dad Dash here. So I finally did get an order. Um... Sorted through a couple or a couple of uh, orders there that I didn't like, but I finally got one that I think is really solid. It's 1487 Chipotle order from Grubhub, um, and even though I'm not in the Grubhub area, it's actually taking me in the direction of my area. So Grubhub is, likes to do that up here, but this is actually a very solid order. 
gives me 36 minutes to complete. I was literally one minute away from the Chipotle, so I just got here. It says it's going to be ready in five minutes, so I'm going to run in here and see. I've got 22 minutes to wait if I need to. It's a 12-minute ride from the Chipotle to the drop-off. I've dropped off here before, so I, I'm familiar with the place. Um, probably will need about two or three extra minutes for the drop-off because it's a business, so I have to go inside and leave it, and so it's going to be a little bit a little bit of a longer drop off than um you know normal but um you know overall it should be pretty easy so uh with the time we've got this should this should really keep us well on pace for uh for our 25 an hour that we want to do so i'm going to run in here What's going on guys? Dad Dash wanted to jump on here and just give you an update on the order. Got into Chipotle, order was already ready. Um, they just had to get my drinks, which was really easy. So we are running way ahead of way ahead of schedule on this order. We had until um, uh, 128 to which is about uh, 22 minutes from now to get this order delivered, and we are um, Let's see here. We are seven minutes away. So we are coming in like 15 minutes early on this order. Really, really strong. Um, really, really strong order value here, especially uh, getting it done as fast as we've been able to. Chipotle was on point. Um, so, you know, looking like it's going to be a really, really good order. Now, when I was leaving Chipotle, um, DoorDash sent me a $13. I left DoorDash on to see if I could get a multi-app stack heading in the same direction, and they sent me a $13 tropical smoothie chipotle order going the opposite direction. So I turned that down, turned Use turned off um, turned off uh, DoorDash for the moment. Now I'm turning Uber on because we're about six minutes away. And then I got a uh, Grubhub offer, um, an add-on to go. 18 miles, I was going to say 18 miles for $16. I did not like that. Um, too many miles, too long. Um, even though they were trying to pair it together with this order, I felt like it was going to go, the direction it was going was not near, uh, not near the, any zones that we could get orders um, quickly afterwards. So, And if we took that order, I think that would have killed the lunch. I think we can probably do better. For the period of time it would have taken to complete the order. We'll see. We'll find out. Um, ooh, Uber is sending us a, an offer. And that is not going to be something we're going to be doing either. 12.6 miles. $8.43. Wow. Thank you, Uber. Next light, turn right. It's my friend Starbucks. I hate Starbucks up here. They don't, they don't have the orders ready. They ignore you and they're very rude. So... Um, you know, I don't like to go deliver for them, so I kind of stay away from them. And I got, I got tip baited by a Starbucks. So, anyways, guys, I am um, about five minutes away from my drop off, so we'll see what what comes up. I'll come back and talk to you afterwards, let you know what I uh, what I find. This is going to put us at about uh, twenty two dollars right now, so not a bad start. Um, need to find another order. It looks like Uber's back in the mix with another doozy. $4.84. Dunkin' Donuts. Another place I don't deal with up here because they never have the order ready and are always short-staffed. So, anyways, um, hopefully Uber sends us something decent um, or maybe DoorDash does because I'm going to power DoorDash up here in about two minutes and see if DoorDash wants to send us some business. Alright guys, I will be talking to you soon and um, I'll be back. All right, guys, I'm back. I uh, went ahead and uh, got that order delivered. So, obviously, there's no hidden tip for um, Grubhub, so it was $14.87. However, the order value on this order, because we were able to get it done so quickly, uh, was phenomenal. The order value on this was an astounding $44.61. Our first order value of the day was $25.26. We started our hour out, or we started our day out at $12.24. So we are 10 minutes away. It's 12:14 right or 1:14 right now. We are 10 minutes away from ending our first hour, and we already have, um, which for lunchtime is not bad at all. We have 22.87. So that means if we get a big enough order, 
we will be able, you know, before the end of the hour, some of that money is going to go in there, and we will solidify our first hour of lunch at $25 or more gross revenue per hour, which is phenomenal. So I'm heading back towards, or not really back, I'm heading towards the, the, the shopping plaza up here that uh, I know has a lot of restaurants and a lot of DoorDash, uh, Uber Eats, Grubhub, um, you know, establishments that, that work with them, and uh, we'll see if we can get something here. Um, so I will be back once I do. We're going to, like I said, about 2 o'clock, and then we will uh, start heading south at that point um, and see see what we can do here. So we got about 45 minutes before we're heading out of the area and heading down south. All right, guys, talk to you soon. All right, guys, Dad Dash back here with an update. So, um... Got over here to the shopping center, had to sort through some orders, took took what I would call a medium order. It's an order I'm going to have to enhance by really hustling and making this better than what it is. But it's $8.64 Uber Eats order, um, going about seven miles. I've got to go over to Panera Bread and pick this up. This Panera Bread's normally pretty good about having the orders ready. Uh, my concern is getting across town where I have to go to drop it off. It, it's going to all be contingent upon what the traffic situation is when I'm going across town so we'll see what happens with that um nothing from DoorDash of any relevance you saw the you saw there were some pretty terrible orders that came through so everything's gotten turned down I'm hoping maybe I can snatch something up over here because there's the Chipotle's over here that you know uh DoorDash does business with Panera there's a couple places over here that maybe I could grab something uh if I can get it heading in the direction as Uber orders going um, and turn this into a multi-app stack. So we will see. I'm prepared to do it. Um, Make a right turn on so I'm going to keep, keep the apps running here um, and see what we can do. All right, guys, I'll be back with an update. What's going on, guys? Dad Dash back here. So we did complete the Uber order. Um <clears throat> Got it done, um, and basically in the amount of time Uber projected, um, we did not end up making it better off. So it ended up coming in at just under $20 an hour value. So it wasn't that great of a value. We haven't got any other orders. I've been kind of cruising around looking. DoorDash ended my shift. It's about 2 o'clock. So um, ended up with a really poor second hour, although I won't even consider it really a second hour because there really hasn't been any activity. So right now up here, I am active on Uber because Uber lets you be active at any time. They did send me one order of $2.50. And then, of course, I've got Grubhub, which right now um, is fading away in my market. I can see my market has still got a couple hot spots. But overall, because I'm not out of market, I'm not going to get uh, any type of precedence uh, for orders. So um, I am going to start heading back out of the market as I had planned. Um, and uh, see what I can go find down in my market uh, and head down south and see what we got. But, um, like I said, it's uh, right now very slow up here in, in Hagerstown, and I, and I don't expect it to improve much because um, I'm not primary on Grubhub, and Uber up here is just absolutely atrocious. So we're going to, uh, you know, go offline for a little bit head on down south and hopefully i'll have something to report to you here soon um as we uh head over the border and get into west virginia all right guys talk to you soon what's going on guys so i made it to my uh, market here in uh, Charlestown um, took me a little while to get in order because it was very very slow um, and finally got a uh, Grubhub order that was decent uh, I got a couple really long haul orders that I didn't like um, and um, you know I'm about to go live on DoorDash here um, because I'm going to be dashing with them from uh, 4 to 5 but um Essentially, 
I got a nine dollar and two cent order. It is six miles, but I have twenty two minutes to complete the order. It looks like it's very achievable to do so. Um, it's at a local. Uh, it's at a pizza place here in the area that does a pretty decent job of pushing the orders out. I probably got about a four or five minute trip over to the pizza place, so that'll leave me about fifteen minutes to get the order delivered. Just got a DoorDash offer. Definitely not going to do it. Three dollars and twenty-five cents for four miles. Don't like that at all. But uh, anyways, we're going to continue to try to see what we can find here. Like I said, for the next hour, um, and then I've got to leave out of here probably about five to five fifteen um, because I've got somewhere I've got to be this evening. So um, just um, you know, hoping that we can uh, pick up a few orders here and have a pretty profitable hour. Our goal for the hour, obviously, as always, would be hitting somewhere between $25 to $35. So we'll see what we're going to do here. This order, if we can make it work for us and get another order right away, um, then we could we could achieve that. So, guys, I'll be back to uh, update you here shortly um, and let you know how things are going. guys dad dash back here so we um got the order done in 22 minutes exactly what i uh what my goal was to accomplish um what, what what i knew we had to do we had to get it in 22 minutes or less we did it in 22 minutes um so we reached our uh, profitability goal there for that order so um i did get a couple orders um as i was going in there i did not like them they were again long haulers one of them being is like 20 miles for uh 19 dollars i said i'm not doing that another one was um uh you know we had a a, a doordash order that i would have definitely probably been willing to do um but um unfortunately um, by the time I got over to it, because I did not realize I had turned on Do Not Disturb, so I wasn't getting DoorDash alerts. Um, by the time I realized I had an order, I only had one second left, and I went to accept it, and it was gone. And it actually would have covered my miles all the way back to my normal area, and then it would have also allowed me to... Um, oh, it looks like we've got an order coming up here. So we've got California Tortilla, 4.6 miles. Um, looks like they're estimating 30 minutes. I don't think it's going to take that long. I'm going to accept it. It's two items. So there we go, guys. $7 order. That means we have to get this order done within 17 minutes or less. So I'm literally going to go straight through this intersection to go down to the restaurant, and we're going to hope that this order is ready to go. That is going to be the key here to all of this working out appropriately um and we're gonna have to really hustle on this because this is one of those orders that if it actually took the full amount of time that doordash is estimating it would really be a terrible order but we're hoping it doesn't and we're hoping that we can get it done a lot quicker um than what doordash is estimating so we're going to see if we can do that so guys you just saw me accept it live I'll be back with an update here shortly and uh, let you know how this order goes. I, it looks like I may have to end my uh, my dash a little sooner than what I thought. Um, this may be the last order uh, because I figured found out that uh, some, some items were forgotten by my son. And I've got to return to my house before I go to where I need to go for the evening. So um, probably going to end up having to make this my last order of the day. But we'll see. See how fast this goes. And see if maybe I can get something heading in the direction of home. All right, guys, I'll be talking to you soon. Hello, I have a DoorDash delivery. All right, guys, Dad Dash back here. So, uh, yeah, it did not end up being my last order. So just to kind of go over what happened here and how things are going, this will be my last couple orders. But I really got into a really good opportunity here. So on my way from picking up the um, 
DoorDash California tortilla order that I accepted while I was on live with you guys. I got a $10.34 five mile Panera bread order, which is going back in the same area. So I went and delivered the order and the DoorDash order. Got extra tip, by the way, $9.50 uh, instead of $7. So $2.50 extra tip. So that was really, really good. It ended up being a very good order. Um, so then. Next, as I was leaving there, they get, or leaving the drop-off location, right next door is Arby's, and I got a, an order for $7 to pick up for Arby's, delivering right, in the, right behind the shopping center where Panera Bread's at. So I, I couldn't turn that down. So uh, now I picked that up. It, was, it took like two minutes to get ready. They were still bagging it up. So now I have the Arby's order in the car. I'm heading down to Panera right now or down to that shopping area. I'm going to drop the Arby's order off. I'm going to flag that I've arrived at Panera. Um, and then, um, you know, flag that it's not ready. And then I will go deliver the Arby's order and then come back to Panera, pick it up, then go drop it off, and then that's it. I'm calling it. Um, I may do some do something like a little later tonight, but unfortunately i got to call it. So far tonight, it is really moving and grooving. No Uber Eats at all. Uh, Uber's been non-existent yet again. The only time they were existent was in the Hagerstown market where they continue to really be terrible. So, anyways, guys, I'll be back to update you on how all this ends. So far, it's looking really good. And I will go from there. Alright guys, Dad Dash back here. So this will probably be the wrap-up video for the day um, because um, I just wrapped up and completed all those orders and uh, now I've got some dad things to do that's probably going to take up the rest of my evening. Actually, it will take up the rest of my evening. So um, only got about two and a half hours of work in today. Um, you know, started out at the, in the middle of that lunch shift at around 12.30, went to about 2 o'clock, then I took a break. Um, and then I traveled up here to Charlestown, got up to Charlestown basically about uh, a little before 4 and got to work, turned on the apps. And it took about 10 minutes, but I got my first, the first uh, order. And it was a little after 5 here now that I finished up. So I am now en route to some dad stuff I got to get done um, and attend. So um Overall, it was a good day. We ended up averaging about $26 an hour for the time we were out, um, $31 an hour for delivery, so there was a little bit of a gap. Um, but we, we maintained our profitability, and we focused on making sure that we, that we understood you know, the size of the orders we needed the only, and, and getting them done in appropriate time. The, 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 the main order that did not meet um, the qualifier yet or the, the, the qualifier was the Uber Eats order that we did for like $8. So that was unfortunate. That was a bit of a drag on the earnings, but it wasn't too much of a drag. So anyways, guys, I wish I would have had more time to be out tonight. I have no doubt we would have easily hit our $100, but we were tracking very well. Things were rolling very, very, very nicely in the market. Um, it was, it was going to be another great Wednesday. Um, but unfortunately, like I said, I have some things I got to do and I had to leave early. So, um, we ended up coming up about $32 short of our $100 goal for the day. Like I said, I have no doubt we would have easily eclipsed that because I had I made over $30 just in the one just in, in that hour uh, after I dropped off the first order uh, between all the orders I dropped off. I mean, it was crazy. It was nice. It was flowing. So, anyways, guys, good day. I'm happy with the day. Um, if I come back on, I probably won't film anymore, so this will be the end of the film. However, I will add them to the financials. Um, 
and, and maybe I'll come in and film a little bit more. Who knows? But um, I, I really think it's unlikely I'll be out doing any more. I will. Pl I am planning to be out tomorrow, so hopefully we can make up that thirty dollars plus plus a hundred. So got a hundred and thirty-two dollar goal for tomorrow. All right, guys. I'll be talking to you soon. Let's roll the financials. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't subscribed yet. Also. Like this video if you enjoyed watching this video today, going over order profitability and, and me showing you how I pick orders. And three, share this video with anybody that you think can benefit. All right, guys. Talk to you soon.